Driving towards the base, they found their opening, they want to get a bit more out of this, they've almost cut off the bounty hunter. They do only get one, but it's a big one, the Terror Blade, and now Bulba. I mean, he was calm, that's the problem. He was too relaxed. Yeah, I'm sure he died calmly as well, the call's not gonna connect there. <laughs> Don't get sassy with me, Denny letting the meatball fly, he's gonna roll right over Bulba, the ultimate comes out, great arrow connection though by Ee Sama, but the double four step, and then the lasso, they're pulling this bear all the way back in. He wanted a taste of that sweet, sweet honey, and I think he might pay for it on the way out, Winter. There's the play break, but the false promise negates the outgoing damage. Arteezy alive for now. Are they going to manage to turn this around? Did Arteezy really just get dragged into the well and then live? Yes, sir. He did. Oh, secret. No man left behind for this squad. And now, back to the tower. That's the power of teamwork. Was that the secret base? <laughs> yeah, seriously. He got healed up at the fountain. Who would have thunk it? Now the Sunstrike connection on to Bulba, does incinerate him, Dendi heating up a bit in this fight, but Seeker get another kill, there's the dunk, can they chase for more? Does he have any big cooldowns available here? They Time. do have Glimpse, Vice Wall into the trees, Pylite die with the TP out, the whole squad escapes. Looks like they're all gonna make it, they do have that the scrap of vision, but now it expires. It's about strong right now with the Aghanims on the Abaddon, so they should be using this timing to deal superior amount of damage onto Navi's base. Oh, that's what Arteezy's doing. He just marches onto high ground, hits the tower, forces out the glyph. Nothing really committed for that. And then Puppy engages. He does find General. That's a big grab. With Envy's first damage, as well as the Oracle, they'll bring him down. Static Storm deployed on two. Buybacks from the bat. They're going to re-engage. The secret retreat this time. They do have that Aegis, that Cheese to work with. A little bit of extra HP and Arteezy. He runs in. He looks for Seneca, but he's not going to find him. He gets caught out. The double four step dragging the Ursa so far back away from his team. He needs the help. He does for now. Turn and fight on the Ditya Rob. Fuzzy was. He still lives. He lives. Finally wound up going down, but he's got the Aegis for round number two. They'll lose the Abaddon though, and with the Abaddon's death, Puppy low. Arteezy blinking out secret. Need to retreat. Puppy will hammer down that tower, but a glimpse. Pulls Arteezy back in again. Puppy there with the two hero call, but they need to be locking these heroes down, bursting them, finishing them off. This bear just won't die. Somebody kill him already. They can't do it. Dendi up into the fountain again. The only place where it's safe, but he gets shotgun from the low ground. Envy can't quite finish him but very close to doing so, and then Denby replies with a Deputy Blast, the Tornado clips him on the way out, looking for more, Pylite die running back, but Dendi likely to continue pursuit, the arrow comes through, Seneko, ooh, not gonna tank it, it's the Ford Spirit that does, the pursuit continues, they've got the track, they look for a bit more, the Ghost walk in, Pi is there, trying to scout things out, slow them down, perhaps will False Promise himself, live a bit longer, but not gonna be able to get out of this one, has the TP, just buying time and space for his team, but it will be a fourth hero hitting the deck, a four for three, but they also pop the the Aegis there as well. And now oh. they're looking for a fifth. They found Envy. Dendi going deep for this one. The sun shaking the trees. Go split. Oh man. Oh my God, Dendi. What a play. Dendi's putting his team on his back right now, man. Let's hats off to him with this in Walker play right now. This, uh, many have said, you know, Dendi is still a, a great mid player, but he is no Miracle, he's no Weeha, he's no Arteezy, he's not a 9k player. He's playing like one right now, Winter. Easy. I just think it's super predictable where they're going to be, because they've just been huddling in their jungle for a, a very long time. And, I, yeah, Dire, you scan, it checked out, so they know that they're sitting behind Bulba, and Bulba's still trying to get his Blink Dagger in. Moo in a little bit of trouble, but turns around and hits three. And Arteezy couldn't this as well, the two here are impaled. Saksuka gets set up for the slam dunk from Moo. Three dead immediately, Puppy trying to TP, is there a stun? Where's the bash, Moo? Says, come on guys, I always frog, please. Oh, that should be fairly easy rush for them. But DC have a run on the opposite team, who is one of the best. Like wave clearers. Yeah, and with the boots travel can kind of be anywhere on the map. So let's get caught out here, we. Nice to repel. Saks gets ready for it. They blow up Paul, but to start things off. Arteezy hex up. Is there gonna be another Star Storm soon? That Aghanim Scepter doesn't pop it. Oh my god. Moo with the predictive plays. Have they got the damage for this? They need a blink follow up from Weeha on the Mirana, but he's a bit low. Another two hero pale Saksuka! How good is this lion play? As Envy getting chased down as well. Starstorm number one. Envy has a Sunder. Is he going to get it off? He does just barely, but I still don't think he's got a way out of this one. Oh Trying to charge God. forward. Saksuka! 
and loose Chronos. It, it looks so impressive. They didn't actually kill him in the Chronos, so it doesn't get like all the the style points. But man, that looked good. And he, man, <laughs> he how, hears your cry and buys more. Winter. How many kills have they not gotten because they do not have sentries on their heroes? Enough that he. Uh, he oh oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Blink. And you'll miss it, did you, Rod? What the devastating crit. So now General, we're gonna follow this up. He's got a Chrono ready to go. There is a disruption available, I believe. Pylai died there, and he purges General as well, but still, they're gonna have a Winter's Curse ready to go. The Aegis quickly cracked and looking for more. Rolling on the Puppy, trying to lock down Envy at the same time. The chains are there. He looks to run, but can he get out? The Gust comes through. He still retreats, but did Ra is gonna continue the chase. Blink and look for the slide. The RP as well. Off with their head, Secret, say Navi. Decapitating. They can bait DC into They're coming. They're doing the Roshan now. They're doing the Roshan now. So they have to get this Roshan on the Ursa. Um, it doesn't look like Fnatic are too privy to it. Yeah, they're not going to be able to contest it, I think. They already have people up waiting in case someone does come in. Resolution? Ooh. Resolution? <gasps> what oh, the what hell the happened? The oh, oh no! Uh, the Enchantress! Are you kidding me? Okay, game's good. Well, game's good. Misery's just sitting there like, what no. the hell just happened? What okay, just that, happened? That is definitely the nail in the coffin. Oh my God. This golem facing the walls is like, I didn't want to have to look at any of this. No, almost gets hit and knocked down. Does manage to live. Nice cold embrace setup for the sun strike there. But, uh, yeah, as it goes down, it's going to be dude, another takedown for DC. Dude, why would an invoker on the same team? I know. I figured that out as I said it, Winter. <laughs> this is what happens when I have to get kicked out of the draft. <laughs> I have to just be here from the start. Oh, yes, Eclipse. But he has brains up. Can he kill him? Oh, uh, yeah, he got it. Oh, he got, he got it. He timed it out. Oh, Waited. my God. That was close. All in support. And uh, well, both the brothers who went down. Yeah, that was... They're playing so well around the TA. And this is one thing, too, that we talked about during the... Or even before the draft. We were saying, you know, Jesus if, Christ, that was some money right there. That, that's a lot <laughs> of stars falling that down. That was some money. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was pretty cool to watch. But uh... They just don't really have comeback heroes, uh, given the matchup, it feels like. Unless Na'Vi make a big mistake in a push. A big mistake? Na'Vi needs to make at least two big mistakes. Maybe even three. I mean, okay, two. So, man, no, okay. quick orchid! Oh. See ya! Oh. The goat has been brought down. Oh my god, that's no. gonna suck so Now Na'Vi look for a bit more. Zai on the run here, art style chasing forward. Again, the Chakram. Aggressive maneuver into the back lines they go. The Huskar arrives, a laser to fear, and they will, I think, bring him down in the fountain. The fire spears, no, just barely able to outreach it. It buys the salve. The farm will continue. De Era, 1300 gold up. There's already a solar crest to deal with. A butterfly is coming, so an early MKB may be. Well, I guess it could be the shotgun actually for RTZ. We'll that shotgun is uh, good versus the Kono as well. Let's see what he wants oh, he to do. The arrow. blanking into the arrow. He blocks the arrow. But does block oh, it. A noble sacrifice, I suppose. I mean, he's just doing that just to save the Ember there. So, <gasps> making sure that his carry, his big brother there stays alive. Or the machine, he would call him. The Didya machine. Fortunate Chrono catching only the one hero, of course. But even then, Fnatic's positioning, they didn't have Lina for the Chrono Sphere. They don't have the damage to burst a hero down in it. I can understand they were trying to smoke to their Terror Blade, but mid one now getting Ghana with the axe. The call, A blast on top. Should this be okay right now? Good to play. No fear still alive, though. They're going to chase in. Get There's the Sunder. The Yoku is still in trouble. There's the hand of God. He's about to go down the reflection and one more right click. Meanwhile, mid one. Oh my doing God. Triple kill comes out with 36 HP. Mid one somehow survives. 
awkward use still gets the kill, which is great for them just to get a little bit of a net worth. No, you're, yeah, you're absolutely right. Obviously, in, in the best case scenario for your Void, you're looking to debut your Chrono by setting up a huge momentum swinging fight. But this one, very defensive and Navi dictating when it's going to be used. Ice Blast flies in the first one of the game, going to be connecting on not one, but two there. So Nico needs the Grave to stay alive, but Artstyle doesn't have a Grave for himself. But suddenly a turnaround play. It's General who shows up just in time with a beautiful Burrow Strike, and he secures a mega kill streak for himself. Wonderful play from Navi. I think that last kick of the Ice Blast was going to take him out too, but he still had the Shallow Grave on him, so he lives with, like, what? <laughs> with, like, that, that 1 or 11 HP that he would have died from. Yep. Wonderful Hitcher play. Up, putting, pressure, putting pressure on Mushi a lot here. Okay, still has that Eclipse. Mushi's hoping that maybe he could hide in the shadows and only hit with some good connecting blows, or maybe just straight up oh juke. See you later, did ya? Where are ya? You reach a point where Storm and Storm can do a lot by itself because their heroes, like I mentioned, don't really deal with Storm very well. There's only Fiend Squid from Bane, everyone else does not have any lockdown. Oh, they're gonna make a move here to dig around the Io's in the trees behind him. The dust comes out, he's very tanky right now. And the good impale by Zai is gonna prevent Seneko from bringing his buddy out. Tries for the relocate there, it looks like doesn't end up going down to a two for nothing. The storm still oh, falls. The mech. A two for one, the mech, the mech was just a late. split second late. Storm was balling, but he ends up going down, and now they're going to look to turn it. Dendi's into the fray. Fear out of position here is going to get caught out. One more auto attack will finish the job. Drops the sprout for the vision, finds the last hit, and does get the kill. Dendi still at full HP in the middle of this. Let's the Chandram go. They're looking to clean up the back lines now. EG have lost three. A three for three exchange, but looking for more. The Chandram comes out, and just oh. not quite enough damage. Close call there with the Timber Chain, but couldn't quite get the kill. Like, he had the haste that was there, one kill on the Draw Ranger, like, more invis runes, more haste runes, I think is, uh, even Arcane rune, I think is really good on Tiny, and then they can uh, kind of use him as that engine to get that Blink Dagger, get their level 6s on their supports, and just get more items up and not die as much as... Oh, Swindles caught out again, the disruption is going to buy time for these TPs that are coming in, though. Arrow will connect with the turn from Limp, looking for a bit more, with Z-Freak joining the fray as well, will they be able to get the follow-up? Boulder Smash, they do, and then they latch onto RTZ. They will bring him down. Chessie almost dying. The Slark explodes in the midst of it. The double Starfall will end up dying to the Marana, but Z-Freak chasing forward again. Has the Boulder Smash ready to go here in just a moment. Is going to try to focus the Pile I Die down. Chasing deep on the Shadow Demon. Puppy just kind of ignoring it, farming up the mid lane here. A long toss. Swindles in deep. He whips on the axes on the way in, but drags them back on the way out to secure the kill. <laughs> will end up costing them the Beastmaster as Limp sacrifices him to Secret. Uh, yeah, this is where suffocation begins. Nyx dances around one side. Mushi can easily clear out the waves on the other. Navi make a move out, though. Oh, that was supposed to be a swap earlier into that old I imagine. This is very this awkward is for oh very my. awkward for Navi. And DJ manages to oh, blink away. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. This is not looking so good for Navi right now. No, not at all their favor because once the weaver starts getting scared that's what you want you want the weaver to be scared which is why we emphasize the importance of the orchid oh hard jump in by g just thinking he can make a quick solo pick for sumail but they turn it right back around with their own chrono ice blast he says no thank you sir well how dare you come into my home that was thank you for the play. agnum scepter the raindrop saved him i think it ate the shadow strike tick i think it would have killed him actually and it looks like Navi will not make chase, so it turns into a two for one. The first fight we've seen in quite a while where Navi get the kill advantage. They do get the kill advantage, but the heroes that they kill don't really matter that much. Yep. I mean, it's it's once again just not. And Mushi going. Is he going to get that kill? Ooh. Oh, that's the timber chain. Oh, and Good silenced stuff. up. Yeah, forced away. Mushi. But, uh, he's he's going, going deep. Yes, he, he is. He does not care. Come here. Oh, swing and a miss on the Shagrum. Come here, come here. <laughs> Oh, he's General making him work for it. Yeah, he's gonna die. Benny Hill music. Swing him in. Oh, the mind, the mind <laughs> Duke City got him. That was nice. Space created. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no space to really be made for on Navi, unfortunately. It may not even be a personal decision, but uh, yeah. the team. But I mean, I think that's one of the strengths of Void. You can like getting that early chrono is yeah. guaranteed killing. You can tell like resolution. He wants to get kills. He was scouting out mid. He was. Scouting out bottom now and just not really any opportunity for him. They will see the uh, illuminate, so maybe he's, he's, he's chewing his way through the trees. Maybe, Is yeah, he, he snuck his way through. That's a really nice play. Oh, hello, <laughs> he got in behind the tower without being detected. Thanks to that little quelling blade on through. That's that's really nice. Haven't seen a play like that in a while. 
Back to get top gets balled in on. Has the finger gonna look to turn and kill Arteezy, but Arteezy saw his mana to play around with. Gets low, is he gonna TP? No, he doesn't. Can't get out of this one. Has soaring in. Nope, no, he doesn't have soaring. Has arcane boots. Can he ball away? Doesn't look like it. One or two more right clicks. We is looking for this resolution is as well. We'll pounce on over and Mirana gets the kill. DC also getting a T1 tower at bottom potentially. Very nice quick hex from uh, the lion there. Is under attack. Well. That's been getting all the kills that uh, they've been on the receiving end of these bad smokes from friends has been getting some good ones going their way. However, Yoko scattered 343. He dodges the cast for the time being. It still will bounce to him, but he's back up and he's a little too far away. Chrono comes out. The ice blast will come through. There's Laguna Blade and looks like they'll lose both of them immediately. And now flicking forward. G trying to fight. He'll blow up Ohio at the very least, and Yoku going to work on the DJ, but it's not enough as the Hand of God will come out with the mech on top. It's more than enough to keep them alive. And they're looking for the Yules. He's got a blink ready to go, and he's going to fall right after him, but good Orchid coming out. Still, G trying to juke as best as possible for Mushi. The TP will come through. Yules is ready. That's what he was waiting for. LSA. This is actually coming out, and so the Quap links away. But while this is all happening, it doesn't matter. The Rax is being taken. Bit one is he's doing objective work. Still, Mushi has found G with another blink forward and LSA, and that Aether Lens paying off for the extra range. And they will have to buy back of the Queen of Pain. Drow has it, but not using it. Still, much. Especially once and they the... do pick up that gem, as I was mentioning. Yeah, it seems to be plateaued for now. But once like that, Battle Fury gets complete for mid one's Ember Spirit, and, and Mushi's damage Radiance begins to kind of skyrocket a bit. Their farm will really accelerate here. Oh, 343 going to be forced to dish up the tricks of the trade to stay alive. Meanwhile, General kind of flirting around with mid one a bit. Gets forced back into safety, and they allow 343 to make a nice little jump to the high ground. General says, no, you're not going anywhere. Jumps in for the Burrow Strike. But they still won't get the finish yet. Meanwhile, over, DJ can get up with a track, turn around, Eclipse. A lot of damage for Dinya. Great, but a beautiful follow up. Chrono comes up from Ohio to lock him in place, but the turnaround play from General. Oh, what an epicenter right into the heart of Fnatic and does force him back. No one to go down except for 343, but there's going to be the follow up takedown of the AA. Can they get Mushi? Dendi wants him. Old rivals of Dota going toe to toe, and it's going to be Dendi who gets the last shot in the ass right there and takes him down. Navi with a one for three trade, and now they can securely move back and take some object objectives aware of why he was pinging. This is, uh, yep, like, like we saw, BKB picked up for Sven. This is the, one of their timings to go. I think that the ward may have caught in a glimpse of the smoke. I thought they all but... did it in the tree line, but I could be wrong. I, I mean, I'd be shocked if that's the case. But... All weaved up, though, walking up a hill. Yeah, they have a They're lot spotted. of armor right now with War Cry. They will see 343. The dust will go. They have, of course, the Ravage coming out. Blank initiation. Ice Blast coming through. They'll take one. Now, no fear and trouble as well. Cold Feedy does get the stomp off, but he ends up dying. But here comes the low hot dance. Like you said, BKB top ready to go. Vacuum wall into the FB. Combo. Look at that cleave, bringing down three. Oh, like you said, Wombo Combo indeed. Still good, Omni Slash, Slight of this as well. Yoku's low, no mech, ready to go. He misses the last right click, and Mushi has to leave, but the Burrow Strike will catch him and gets Aloha Dance, a double kill. Yoku. Mid one missed the slide as well, like just off the mark on Yoku. Where is Yoku? Where is that guy? He TP'd out, he made it away in time. And they will take down the melee. I mean, it's, it's a lot of gold, I'm sure. Look how much gold you just got from that, Lena. It doesn't matter, though. You lose the mid set of racks. You're about to lose your tier three tower bottom. Yoku's coming in, and he's really the only thing that he's the only one that can do anything about this. Swap back in. There's the sounds coming out. Magic This will come through. The Orchid is there. It should still have Gust. The Sonic waves up. He's low, and oh, he gets under. Under off, off in time. The Gust wasn't there. Mid one call is there. They get off the mech. They have Coin Blade, and he chops him down in time. Ice Blast in Ohio. It'll fall. Three dead coming up for Fnatic, and it looks like DJ might be next to the chopping block. Aloha Dance going to work, and he's trying to right-click down no fear. He will, but it's still a four for three exchange. Three for three. He gets silenced up the double shockwave. He's not able to do enough damage. Maledict, though. Oh, and they might tick down. He's solo. He'll bottle He's gonna up, die. And he will end up falling. It looks like he's got Both no more bottle. Oh, and everyone is dead. Oh, my Everybody God. Everybody dies. Every single person Dyer's on the map top. ends up going attack. down. Pure DPS item. Just kind of cheap stats of Seneco. So every ulti up. Sneaks in, creeps up, gets the ward down under cover of smoke. Navi 
looking for the killing blow here on Secret. And as they go for the D ward, he strikes Dendi, Blake, RP, Skewer on back, piling in the knock comes down. Gonna get Arteezy as well. Good use of the shotgun, not gonna matter. Navi cleaning up and Secret on their last legs. The Chrono to boot. It actually holds Dityat's position. Not ideal. Boba's gonna try for this, but even the curse is there to deny him as well. There will be no turnaround. Bulba ravages, but it's all for nothing as Navi holds the high ground and again they best Navi. secret down the stretch as the game grows late. What a performance by Navi. Said, uh, just replicate out. But yeah, I think this might be the all in play. But he has no BOTs now. Is so he gonna run home or is Envy? Going all in in his own right. Complexity says, screw the road wait. We're going for it. Diving deep onto Bulba. All of a sudden, there's no Ravages available. There's no Morphling at home. No Ursa. Does he come back? Radiance middle Envy, he is working on the Mega Creeps, but Limp's committing here to Tier 4 Tower. Radiance Secret somehow have found themselves in a very dangerous base race, but they are going to commit for it. Envy, just the melee racks on the drop, and then they'll have the BOTs ready in a couple of seconds. The Glyph has been committed on Limp. It's going for structures here. Does Envy come home? Is he coming back? Or is it all in? Boba sticking around, but he's basically just a big creep at this point. Envy's going to, or Arteezy rather, is going to get jumped, focused down by Complexity. Creeps are starting to hit on the Tier 4 Towers. Boba getting Gun down from distance by Lim, he too will fall, and finally, Envy comes back, but he comes back lacking a couple of teammates, they will double buyback here, on the Tidehunter, on the Ursa, Lim standing his ground, but he gets stopped, controlled, he's dead, they need that Huskar, they're gonna have to relocate him back into the fight if possible to get back in this game. Chessie now, Lim just DOT and charging forward, but while that's happening, they lose him as well, they've lost the Beastmaster, the bug gets squashed. Huskar has bought back, but he's lacking a team to assist. The rest of the team will soon join him. But Envy's managed to find the Mega Creeps. That, that might was, be the killing blow. That was a really nice attempt by Complexity there. They really made Secret Sweat. The throne is at like half HP right now. They don't have the buyback yet on Ursula. They don't have the buyback on Elder Titan. They don't have the buyback on Tidehunter. And now they have one Ravage, soon to be yeah. two. And, uh, and like they're fighting against the Creeps. Yes. And they don't even have good wave clear. But that, one, that was a, a very admirable attempt at ending the game. That was... Well, they're going to commit scary. for this one. They're just diving forward. The dunk on the pilot die in the mid lane, but creep pushing top and bottom in secret. Eviscerate the opposition. The Ravages come flying out from Bulba. And secret will take it 2-0. The Evoker is like the terrible is... Already... And especially with these items the Bounty Hunter is getting, the TB hits a yeah, lot the harder. The TB is already more than happy with all the items that he has to be able to... They can look for a jump here, and it's going to be on the Pilai Dia. There's no easy way to cancel this lasso. A clean takedown, and no buyback in the Oracle for a minute. That is... That is... A, They'll have a fresh lasso. That is enough time for them to get a set of By racks. the time he respawns. So they can maybe even find another kill if Bulba's not in perfect position. Secret. Huh, they're going to Moonlight Shadow. They're going to look for the jump. But do they find anyone? Let's see how Navi position themselves. It's Arctile up in front. He gets called by Blink Call. They all descend on, but the tornado interrupts too. Prevents the easy follow up. And now getting to work in the middle of the fight. Puppy kept back for the moment. They lay in the bowl, but they lay in Arteezy. They bring them down too fast. This TV is so freaking big. Now with the butterfly, can they even finish him off? Bulba tries, but then he gets sundered. He gets focused. Machine gun TV in the house. Bulba gonna be next. Puppy likely as well. Arteezy rejoining the fight, and Arteezy gonna go home again. A rampage for Diyara. Navi, take it, and now the series, best of five, tied up one to one. What a freaking comeback that was. They call him a machine, and he delivered Rampage. His team just, I mean, props to Invoker though. Like Dandy just played so well, allowed his team to actually survive the earlier team fights, allowed the Terabyte to get back into the game. Just, I think mean, Dandy is definitely the MVP for me in this game for his team.